afternoon, folks. Beautiful afternoon out here in central Ontario, Canada. My name's Sandy. This is Sawing with Sandy. And right here behind me, you would have seen a moment ago, I drove out my tractor with my log loader trailer. Now, the log loader trailer is definitely really dirty at this point, And all this dust and debris and everything that's all over it in the logs is because I was peeling the bark off these logs just uh, recently up at my shop. What I'm going to do here today is take those logs and do a bit of log loading work and load them over there onto my log deck with uh, the other ones that have already debarked and you can see what we're left with here they're really really nice once uh, once the debris gets off them but i'm going to load up those logs over here with these ones then i'm heading down the trail i've got some more logs that are already cut to length we're going to pick those up restock and then we'll be back here at the sawmill at some point and we'll continue cutting them and if you're interested in seeing more about that log debarking make sure you check out the video that i'll put at the end of this one that log debarking is basically a log peeling disc with three sharp blades spins around really really quickly because it's attached to my nine inch angle grinder that thing is way faster than using uh, any hand tools that i've ever used and so if you haven't seen it before it's pretty neat Makes a heck of a mess, but it certainly debarks logs very, very quickly. Now this log loader trailer, if you haven't been around the channel, this is relatively new to me. As I mentioned before, I'm still learning the controls, but I think uh, I'm gonna get it eventually. Anyways, this log loader trailer is the Wallenstein LXT95. This is one of two versions of this log loader trailer that Wallenstein sells. This is the off-road version. You'll notice a few things with this trailer. Uh, the axle actually is able to move forward and backwards i've got it backwards all the way right now that's really convenient especially because you want to adjust the tongue weight depending on what you're towing with now i'm towing with the tractor so the tongue weight isn't overly important but if i was towing with like a side by side or something smaller i'd want to be able to adjust the tongue weight just to make sure that it uh, it tows nicely this thing here also has brakes on it hydraulic brakes so up at the coupler i've actually got this that i can lift and when I lift that, when I go downhill, that'll collapse and that'll apply the brakes. So kind of kind of neat that way. This has a 5,000 pound capacity. It'll lift 800 pounds at full extension. And there's a few other things that you'll probably notice if you continue hanging around the channel. It's got a winch that I just installed on it. That's a hydraulic winch, 1,400 pound pull. That thing is powered off the same hydraulics that the uh, the rest of the log loader trailer is. So. This thing is also standalone in that it's got its own hydraulic tank down here, its own engine over here, and then its own pump on the back. So you don't have to tow this with a tractor that has a hydraulic system. You can tow it with any type of other equipment that has the correct tow rating. A UTV, a well-equipped ATV, those types of things will, uh, will pull this as well, and you don't have to have any hydraulics in that machine. So we're going to put this into action right here today really looking forward to this in terms of the most fun pieces of equipment i have around here this is one of them here we go
Well, that's a fun afternoon right there. I really enjoy using the log loader trailer. It uh, reminds me of those, uh, those arcade games way back in the day where you had that claw and it came down in that machine and you try to grab that prize. Although I think this uh, machine is actually fair at the claw game, if you remember, and you know what I'm talking about. It seemed it had so little pressure, no matter how accurate you were with that claw, you never got the prize. Maybe I got it once in my life. But this thing, lots and lots of fun out here. Beautiful afternoon for it as well. Some of the logs were froze to the ground, as you saw. I had to, had to sort of dig in and break them loose. The uh, log loader had no problem doing that, which was great. Worst case scenario, if I couldn't uh, break it loose with the grapple, I always had the winches back up, but uh, I didn't need it. Some of these logs are going to need a day or two here to uh, defrost. I want to get some of that ice off before I load it up on the sawmill, otherwise it won't sit flat. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave those logs there for a few days. Sooner, hopefully rather than later, we'll be back out here. I'll be loading these logs up onto the sawmill. Maybe you guys could join me for that. I always enjoy sawing as well. And anytime I can mix the grapple work with the saw work, it's a good day. Overall, kind of icy out here. You would have also seen me struggling just a little bit to keep it straight. My front tires and my tractor have no chains. My back do all the grip. But because there's no chains on the front, you got to watch those side hills. The front of the tractor wants to go left and right especially when uh, the hill is icy but we made it out here we uh, backed her in here underneath the the shed that was probably the most tricky operation it always tends to be but we got it into place we're uh, still in one piece we had a good time that's a good afternoon now just a few things dealing with the log loader trailer that you may have seen me doing when i was loading these logs you saw the shorter logs on the bottom and the longer logs on top now i didn't plan it that way what I would often want to do is put the longer logs on the bottom, shorter on top. That way more weight is closer to the ground, keeping my center of gravity lower. But those top logs, the longer ones, I had intended on leaving them back at the landing until the last second. Uh, and then I decided, you know what, even though I'm not going to use them for my project logs, I'm going to save myself a trip. We'll toss them on. I'll bring them up here for uh, another project. So that's why they're sitting up there on top. Anyways, that's how it ended up. Still uh, no problem because the trail is relatively flat. If you start getting real top heavy and you're going sort of off camber, that's when you really gotta start thinking what you're doing, but worked out quite well. Now, another thing when you saw me loading, I always try to pick up the logs in the middle of the log. That way it's sort of balanced left and right. That didn't always work. Sometimes I guess and I guess wrong. And so the logs leaning like this. In those instances, what I would try to do is I would take the low side and I would try to position it so it would come in like this. Low side, low side, low side, and then it would bump up right against the rail here. By bumping up against the rail, I would then drop the back side of the log and it tended to keep it very manageable. So that was one thing I was trying to do. Uh, another thing I was trying to do was to always be aware of where the log was in relation to me. This thing lifts really, really high. And when you get all that weight really, really high, the worst thing that could possibly happen is something mechanical breaks and that log lets go because you know where it's going. So I was always trying to be aware of keeping that log away from me as much as possible, at least giving myself a barrier between me and the log. So that's something I'm going to continue to keep in mind. If you guys have any tips at all for me, I'd appreciate hearing it. Many of you have experience with uh, machines like this and anytime we can share ideas and keep each other safe and make ourselves uh, efficient, I would uh, say that's a good thing. So anyways, that's it for me here today. I appreciate everyone watching. Please give her the old like a -roo. Make sure you subscribe and don't forget, I got some videos at the end of this one that I think all you guys will like. Make sure to check it out. See you next time. Hey, the warm weather's coming. If you need a hat to cover your head and you like the one that I'm wearing, be sure to check out the merch store right below this video. See you next time.